In memorial services across the country, the people of Holland are remembering those who died in the tragedy of MH17. Considerably more than half of the 298 people on board were Dutch. Their deaths felt here at a very personal level. Mourners in St. John's Cathedral in the southern Netherlands lit a candle for each of the dead. For its part, the government sent a team of eight DNA experts to the Ukraine to begin the process of identifying the dead. Speaking in the Ukrainian capital, Kiev, Dutch Foreign Minister Franz Timmermans has demanded full cooperation from rebel groups at the crash site for his teams working alongside the OSCE, the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe. The OSCE uh, uh, in place, and they have been instrumental in creating a situation where our experts can possibly be active there with the uh, consent of the uh, separatists. But we will have to judge the situation day by day because they have made promises before uh, which they have not held. So we need to be very careful. My first and foremost priority is, is my humanitarian duty to bring back the bodies of the Dutch people who were killed to the Netherlands. As the floral tributes continue to be laid here at Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam, from where MH17 took off on its doomed flight, there's a growing anger among people at the way the rebel groups have been seen to treat the bodies of the dead. I'm so angry. The way they treated these bodies, it's incredible. They are barbarians. Do you share that anger? No, I think we're all angry in Holland, very angry. Because what, what's happening there is, is, is appalling, it's, it's, it's not human. There can be no time frame attached to the work of the Dutch forensics teams. It all depends on the access they get to the crash site. And that, in rebel hell territory in the middle of a bloody and chaotic civil war, is difficult beyond belief. For a nation very much grieving their many dead, it can only add to the hurt. Richard Bestick, CCTV, Amsterdam.